Yo, Real 92.3, Bootleg Kev, DJ Head. West Coast. Special guest in here. The homie Wale is in the building. Wale, though. What up? Hey, man, Wale, uh, the new song is crazy. Shout out thank to Jeremiah. Thank you, thank you. It's a vibe. What up, what up, Jay? Who produced that? Oh, man, that is a great question. Um, <laughs> but you're fucking single. You should know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> you like, man, you know what? That's, that's well, shout my, out to my, them. That's bureaucracy. I, 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 I don't think that was no, my man, Norve. I think Norve did that. Great. Norve, yeah. Uh, yo, what, what, what you been up to, though, man? I know, the, you, you know we were just talking. The album's pretty much done, right? Uh, yeah. But I don't know. I mean, the album ever really done until it's like in your hands. But, I mean, you one of those people who record up yeah, until the day of? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I just, things change, feelings change, you know, life, the world. Yeah. That's fair enough. Um, it's crazy because I, I go all the way back. The first song of yours I ever used to play on the radio was Go Mode. With, was it Bun B oh, on Bun that? Back in the Go, Go, back in the I Go, I cleaned go that shit up Trey. myself. Yeah, we was yeah. playing that shit on the radio yeah. in, in Vegas. And, yeah. uh, and, and, and then obviously I remember you were on the Roots album. Yep. Like yeah, Bruce right gave, Bruce gave me my first real mainstream yeah, look. Yeah, man. Honest, I, yeah. And I, I remember I was just always rooting for you, man. And obviously the classic mixtapes and, and you know, we're all the way to here. And, you're, you know, longevity speaks volumes. Like, you know, I know you all, a lot of people might consider you like a little underrated when it comes to the, the grand scheme of things in hip hop. But, like, uh -huh. how are you feeling right now? Uh, I mean, I'm just worried about just, you know, promoting the record right now. Like, I mean, we can get in them conversations when, I guess, when they, you know, when it's time to. But right now I'm just trying to promote the joint and just, you know, hope that we get, we can keep the momentum going and keep the fans, like, active. Like, you know, the underrated thing is always going to probably just be lingering. But right now, we just got to focus on making these records right now. That's what we're here for. What's so. the what's the balance right now for you? Because this record is obviously, like, you know, the single record mm -hmm. or whatever. But I know I remember you talking you was talking earlier about having the balance between bars and then songwriting and stuff. Like, you could do both. But, like, how do you find that balance when you're creating? Um... Well, I just write so much that, you know, I just make so much stuff, and then you just kind of put put it together. Like, you never, like, some, I might have three songs that are about the same thing, and I just kind of just pick the one that I, that's, the, that's, that, that's felt best. Three songs with the same, like. Yeah, vibe, yeah. Oh, like, shit. I just, just keep, I mean, when you write so much, you know what I'm saying, you might just cover the same thing, like, a lot. So I just try to filter it out like that. But mm -hmm. I just, I mean, I write a lot. That's why it's really hard for me to, like, Memorize joints because I I write a lot, like a lot, a lot. <laughs> How much of the shit that you write end up recording? Is it all of it or no? Nah, hell no, nah, man. Like 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 one one hundredth of the hard drive <laughs> y'all gonna hear. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like it's that deep though. With me. Yeah. It's just I mean I go through my 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 feelings or emotions or you know uh, experiment with different sounds and all of that. So you know y'all just gonna hear like the stuff that I'm like super comfortable putting out and uh. You know, I feel like you've always kind of been early when it comes to fellow talent. You know what I'm saying? As far as like tapping in with, with artists real early. Who are some of these young kids that you're fucking with? Because there's a, obviously a whole new wave of new shit that's going um, on. Obviously, I'm from the from home base, uh, um, Ade. Is Shout out to Ade that joined with, 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 with Babies. Crazy. He go crazy. Um, uh, uh, Manny. Uh, Manny Wells, Young Manny. Uh, Flex Cartel on the DC side. Uh, Q the Fool. Rico Nasty, Shy, Shy Rico, Shy, um, uh, my little cousin Prince Hakeem, he doing some things. Uh, I like Guap Dad. Guap Dad's a vibe. Uh, yeah, I saw y'all were partying last night. Yeah, right? yeah, Guap Dad. I like Buddy, Shmino, yeah, Jid, you know, Earth Gang, all the whole Dreamville for real. Dreamville's moving right yeah. now for sure. So, and they all friends with like I'm all I'm cool with all of them. I'm just. It's a great feeling to just see them really get they get, get they, how they that they stay they shine. You know what I'm saying? What, what's your uh, relationship with Cole now? Because I know you know there was like the, the weird passive aggressive. Like, nah, <laughs> nah, nah. We just we. But it was. It always seemed like it was like you like like it wasn't in in like competition. No, nah, it, it's just no. Nah, it was just him talking about what he was feeling. And then I responded, well, I'll talk about how I feel. And then we went to, <laughs> then we went to go see Dennis. Then you guys could probably go Dennis have dinner Smith. and chop yeah, it up. You, know? you say what you said, I say what I said. Yeah, it just was like, like we ain't never had no, nah. I think they was worried about um, how I was going to take it, though. I think, because I remember when that joint came, like, Eve said, Eve hit a, I had called Eve. I think I texted him. He was like, I was like, yeah, this joint tight. And he was just like, Man, yeah, like you know, cause they you know they know how I am. Like, yes. I, like, he's like, like here comes the like, Twitter storm. Yeah, I thought, yeah. He's like, he's like, he's like, no, I was like, I was like, I said, you know, I'm about, to, I'm about to do what I gotta do now, though. But you know, I ain't thinking, I ain't taking it wrong or nothing like that. Those, those, man, we always gonna be friends, dog. Me and Cole always gonna be friends. That's, we talk all the time about nothing. And that's how you know your friends. <laughs> nah, yeah, we talk. Me and Cole talk. We have the most nothing conversation. We just be bidding off stuff. That's fair. Um, yo, you know, obviously, as somebody who 
has been uh, a, a, a XXL guy. Uh, what do you what do you feel about this year's uh, freshman class? Oh, I, I think it's I think it's spot on. I, I mean, uh, I mean Roddy Rich. I think Roddy Rich, man. I think I think I think Slim was born. No, no, he been here before. Like he he's like a he's blues writer. He's like a blues yeah. writer, bro. Shout out to my young homie Roddy he, Rich. He, he like he's like, he's like blue. Man. He yeah, got he sure. got something in him. I remember seeing him like before all this. I just saw him in the studio. For like anybody really was on the on the scene like that, and I, I was listening to his songs. I was like, and then uh, Dallas shout out to Dallas Martin. He was like, yeah, man, he do this all day. Yeah, <laughs> he be doing this all. He just be making these shows all day. I'm like, for real. And I was like, I knew Slim was gonna be one of them. And then when I met Stallion, uh, her presence in the studio, like it's just it's just the way I just took tell how she moved, like how she talked, how she carried herself. And then when I heard her rap some more, I was like, you know. And then the baby. When I, when I met him, uh, I, I, he, he he just had it, and all these people can rap for real, like for real, for real. Corday, he can rap for real. For real. Yeah. He can hoop too. He, he, I, can hoop? he don't look like he can hoop, like he can hoop. Oh, I see it. Yeah, he, he can hoop. hoop like he. Son, 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 you buck, he play like Ginobili. Like. He got to hit that son, end dealer on the timeout son, though. Son, son, he got asthma. Yes, <laughs> but he, he he put you in that mix though. Um, yeah, Corday doing this thing. I got him, so I ain't talked to him in a minute. Um, you know, Megan, who, I think is uh, who else on the cover that now? Who else? Mosey, Rico. Oh, Rico. Oh, see, I gotta of forget Rico. Rico Man, uh, she came. Still she came to my daughter first birthday. Uh, her and her son. Like oh, wow. they, they, they like they, they like twins for Tierra real. Whack, Blueface. Shout out to Philly. T- uh, Tierra Whack be rapping like a mug. Like for sure. She remind me of like a, like a um, man. Cause it's so it's like Busta Rhymes mixed with like Eminem or something like that. True, I like her. Like, I think that's a good comment. Like cause she be like. Her syllable she vibe. She be getting in her pocket. She be got crazy. It. She got the wit. Like it's ill. She cause she good with it. Um, uh, Lady London. I don't know if y'all hit to her, but mm-hmm. she she fired. Like she from New York, but uh, she went to Howard. Shout out to you. But I saw she, her on Instagram she going cold, ham. Cold yeah. Like she rapped like bravado. You know the the, the 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 connection with the listener, like she got it like that. I think she'll be on the next year joint. Yo, it's crazy because like you, we we talk about guys who could really rap, and I feel like you know when you first came out, you were kind of like the hip hop snobs like guy. You know what I'm saying? Like 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 shout out to all like like super hardcore hip hop head dudes like right, yo. Right. And then you know you get on the Walker record, mm-hmm, and at fire. the time, at the time though, uh-huh. a lot of your fans was like. What the fuck? Because I feel like at that time there was a real divide between like you know, but, but that's, that kind but of that's shit. What, that's what being from DC is about, though, because it's like we don't belong to the South or the North. Right. What you I'm saying, saying is like that. That 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 time. I feel like you kind of people were like, knew me. People knew me for people in DC. Well, like look, think about Uptown Romans, uh, Dig Dug, all them joints is like Dig in Dug's the same vein. They, in the same vein as No Hands. You know, but the hip hop heads, they like the justice freestyle. Mm-hmm. They like the stuff I was doing with Lily Allen and yeah, Mark yeah, Bronson yeah. and all them. So that that you know, that's where the divide came. But DC, where I, where was home, they knew me for those type of records before they even knew me for like the super ultra hip hop stuff. No, I just feel like you you like I feel like you kind of served as like the first like I mean I know Talib did it a little too. Um but I feel like you you were kind of like one of those first dudes who whose perception was like yo it's a real hip hop cat and you kind of bridged the gap to like where because I, I hated that how shit was like hip hop was kind of segregated low key yeah. like certain artists couldn't work with other artists because yeah, they're worried yeah. about their fucking family yeah, yeah. but I feel like you were the first guy to like just be like yo man we all doing sh- we're all doing music yeah. and I feel like you kind of made that cool you know what I'm I saying I appreciate that that's I mean it may, I mean it, it makes sense because. Cause we, after we, that we, everybody we, was working with everybody. We the mixing bowl though. DC's are like a mixing bowl because it's like it's it don't it's it was undefined. Like you know we we associated Jabos and all that with the, down south. Yeah. We, we 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 saw Timberlands and the pinwheel fitters the and all that. That that was an up top thing. So DC was kind of like mm. we had our own thing. Like it was new back. Like you know and it's the same thing with music. We don't really. You know, so it's no, it's, it's obviously I'm gonna do a go go record and put Gucci Man on it. Of course, but obviously I'm gonna do a, a record, a, a, a super hip hop record and put K9 on it. You know what I'm saying? That's where my mind was at. I was just following like you know who you what, are, what, 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 what DC was. It's a little bit of everything. That's, so I, I guess that's what, what what brought it all together. That's fair, man. Uh, new album. I mean, feature wise, I, I don't know if you could let anything out the bag. Who, who I beat Jeremiah obviously is on the project. There you go. Oh man, I'm trying to figure this out. 
He don't even know what's on the fucking project. Give me a rapper. Give me a rapper, though. If you give nah, me the shit that's for sure reason, going on the project. It's not even about that because I be trying to wait till like it's time to, to really, you know, that we're getting closer to the to the joint being out. You know what I'm saying? Um, because the big, the, the the real big surprises, I just want them to hold on. No, I get it. I can't. I, I'll be back when it's album time. We could talk all about it. Yeah, I, I respect that. Hey, something I always wanted to ask you about: What's your temperament on like? Um, dropping record, like being an artist, and then also being under another artist. Because I feel like so, sometimes people every get a bad rap. Every, every situation different. Every, every joint is different. Like a deal is a deal, and an opportunity is an opportunity. So you just got to make the most of it for real. And to be fair, Ross. I, uh, that's what I was gonna tell you. I feel like Ross is one of the people who always like supported y'all. Like, well, no, Ross wants everybody to be bigger than him. I think that's the difference. Like yeah. he's okay if like Meek's bigger than him. Yeah. I think Ross has he been. He just, I mean, at the end of the day, he's just a supportive dude. Like he's yeah. a supportive ass nigga. Like that's just, nigga, like you know what I'm saying. Like he's just a supportive nigga. Like even when I'm down or I'm on my moves or whatever, sometimes maybe he don't communicate it the best. But I know he in the he his intentions are always like. My nigga, like we ain't doing that. My nigga, like you feel me? Like yeah. my nigga, nah, nigga, like you about to. Nah, nigga, like, you know, because that was the point when I was just like, man, I don't know, man, man. And he was like, nah, nigga, like, nigga, you ain't letting niggas close the door on you, nigga. Like, you that nigga, you, nigga, you motherfucking Wallace. Wallace. You, you motherfucking Wallace, nigga, <laughs> yeah. Wale, nigga. Put the battery in your Talk back. Talk your shit. To get your sneaker shit off, nigga. Get at these bras like you do. Talk your shit and out rap everybody and do your thing. You know, that's how he is, that's how he is with that's me. Dope. I know he got his own relationship with me, but, like, you know. He, the nigga's just a supportive nigga. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, we are his investments. But, like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, but, I mean, it's genuine, though. He want niggas to just do it. He want niggas to, to, to shine. Has there been that's any conversation up. about doing a new self-made project? Um, I, That's another thing that I was, I was, I was like, hoping for. I was just hoping that we could probably just tour together That'd and be make fire. and make make a self-made, like, on the road. That'd but, be uh, fucking crazy. It's just a lot of moving pieces with that type of stuff, of though. Course. Like, and, um, And then, obviously, like, the team now is... I, I mean, obviously, I think, you know, through each self-made project, there's people who come come off and who who, who, get, who are added. But I feel like, obviously, you and me could been the consistent, obviously, gunplay. Um, but, yeah, I think that that would be big. That'd be dope. That'd be big. Yeah, man. I mean, I think, it, I think it could happen. You know what I'm saying? But, like I said, there's a lot of moving pieces. I know me... Working on something right now. Ross about to drop. I'm about to drop. You know what I'm saying? But I just saw. I mean, we got a lot of we got a lot of songs that's probably dated now. Like, we got a lot of just sitting there. But you know, that'd be good though. That'd be nice is to, 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 to do it. It's, yeah, it's, it's not all of the something I always paid attention to too is that Ross does. I, I feel like Ross respects like MCs. Oh, you know nah, what I'm saying? Oh, for sure. sure. Like I mean, look at um, the day that we went to the me and Ross. Uh, Man, that nigga, I, I forgot what type of car it was. It's the first time I seen some shit like this. <laughs> Spaceship. It was like a two door, I mean, a two seater Maybach or something like that. It was crazy. So the nigga was playing like, I'm talking about shit I ain't even heard. Like, it was some fucking 1980. Some boom bap shit. What? I'm talking about <laughs> for like an hour. He in there bumping bro, and like, helped the skeleton. He was shit. knowing all the words. He was like, he was like trying to like, I mean, that's Ross' way of like trying to like put me in the headspace to, to write. Like, to he won't say it. But he's, he's like, like you know, yo. we smoking. He's like, yo, you know what this nigga said? And it was like some fucking like, hey, man, man. Nigga, it was one of them obscure Jones. But we, but we also listen to Ghetto Boys and all right, of that right, stuff. Right, right. And we ride into the Dreamville session, and he just going through like all time, bro. I just be, I be just looking at him like, man. How, niggas don't know this side of this. It's just me and Ross. But it's crazy because if you look at Ross, like Ross had like you know obviously Styles P's on fucking yep. BMF, BMF and, and yeah. he worked with fucking he uh, know his shit. He worked with Cool G Rap, bro. He like Cool G shit. Raps on that same dog. project. The like, nigga know it. Like, like the Ross nigga know his shit. A, he knows what's he up. He know his shit. He dog. Fucking, and he got the best ear for beats in hip hop history. I th that's what that I, I agree. Ever. I agree. I definitely agree. Does he? Does, uh, do you let him like play a role in picking your your, your beat selection? The at funny all? thing is, is like every time I do it, I just get so isolated. I just can't help myself. Gotcha. I just I just get like you know what I'm saying, and then I, I might check in with him three or four times during the jump play him joints. But like I just get my own little world when it's out of time. But like he move around and be doing a lot, so it's like I couldn't just I wouldn't feel comfortable just waiting on him to pick out joints. To pick some beats here. But however, about getting the place where I can do that, I would love to hear a, a project. Fully like Ross pick A B and R Robert. because the nigga up top this nigga a genius the ear, bro man. the nigga we'd be smoking in the studio and shit like that and we just vibing the nigga would just write on a piece of paper like six song titles the, the nigga uh, the nigga is like a savant with like <laughs> he's a, a different he that nigga is a, a brilliant nigga dog like he he'd be like yo well, um, 
Man, I, I, I took a picture of one of them joints. He was like, yo, something, something like, like, he, oh, one of them was like, ah, uh, oh, it was like a, he, it was like a, uh, like, some, some, like, so it was a, it was a high end brand. And it was like, yo, like, I mean, look at like, like Aston Martin, lavender, la, like, j- like, uh, Javinci, j- 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 no, like, it was Balenciaga, Balenciaga Dreams. That was what it was. Oh, Balenciaga Dreams. So now we got and a then, Port of so, Miami, so too. So you got you the title. <laughs> for, you started with the title. Yeah, no, we was just vibing, smoking. He was like, Balenciaga Dreams. And he was just like, nigga, you Wallace, nigga, you come up, you step off the motherfucking yacht, nigga, you got the, the hoes waiting for you. That's... Balenciaga. And, and, and Nigga, it's just the beat playing and he's just writing this shit down. The uh, nigga different, bro. Hey, it's so funny shout out to Balenciaga Dreams on Port of Miami. Uh, yeah. I, don't think, I, no, I don't think he using that one. You know what I'm saying? I think I, I think I actually started writing that jump. Yeah, it's, I, like, it's, it's, it's crazy that you with. say that because like I feel like I feel like in my head that's how I feel like Ross would record because all his like I feel like like no one makes cinematic music like Ross. Like the way he comes in on on Maybach Music Three or the way he, yeah it's just, it's just so cinematic it's like oh, shout, it's, shout out to Johnny Shipes hey, have, hey, cinematic <laughs> shout out to Johnny Shipes that's my bro right there uh, uh so the album hopefully uh in the summer early fall soon soon, soon. okay before um, before before New Year yeah all right bet um, something else I also wanted to ask you who sneaker game do you respect. Um, Clark don't Kent. say Clark Kent. I was gonna say don't say Clark Kent. Clark Kent. Okay, well, without that's, him, that's the obvious one. Mayor. Okay. PJ Tucker for PJ sure. PJ Tucker's the guy. That's my man. Ex Phoenix Sun, Sun, Sun right Sun there. really get. He get it though. He mm-hmm. he he really about it. it. Ain't just like hooping joints. Like yo, he has some fours on some like UNC yeah, fours. Oh yeah, he had those on the next day. Uh, he's a player size though. Like his 13, 14, You got another batch to choose from. True. When you nine. Yeah. You got you in the mix with all the short regular people. How many how many sneakers you got? Guess. Um, I would say like it's somewhere like f- maybe like four thousand right now. Four thousand wow. pairs of sneakers. Like you can fucking just you run uh-huh. it up on stock X. This shit, rap shit don't work. <laughs> <laughs> you sit on a whole lot of money, a lot bro. Of them, a lot of them are just kind of like destroyed because of just not being attended to. Because they're just sitting there, right? And a lot of them like don't fit the same and whatever. But I'm I'm a little bit of a hoarder though when it comes to that. That's and I've lost. I probably lost like maybe like twelve hundred pairs of sneakers since I got in the the, the music game. Which, bro. which is the best LeBron? It's um, either the eights or nines or tens. I like the threes though. The, threes? the two, the, the two, the threes, the, the the ones with the strap. Okay. The, no, no, no. Those like those, those like my second, but I think the eights probably. The eights. The eights when seven, he debuted eights. the South Beaches. The, oh, the eights man. were South Beach, right? Yeah. South was South Beach. South Beach with eights. Yeah, I got the Clark Kent, uh, LeBron H, the um, the they did black and neon green or whatever. Those those was good. The ones, which ones was had the Galaxy? Was that seven? Galaxy was the the orange the, galaxies. That was the that, that was the nines. Those were the nines. Nah, yeah, yeah, I like those too. Some colors, but you know what? Yeah, tens yeah, were slept yeah, on yeah, too. I feel like after the tens, it kind of got weird with LeBron's. I mean, it's, I think they just got. St- I mean, as his foot, his foot was probably growing, and he probably needed different type That's of fair. structure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. But the first like eight of them joints was really, really good. And uh, the colorway on um, fuck, I don't even know the number. They were like greenish gold, like the flight old flight posits. The greenish gold with the red. They were like a metallic kind of joint. Remember the joint we did the work inside of half full? It was like gold. It was like the 13 or something. They so underrated. They are they're very underrated. But that colorway, I'm so infatuated with that joint. I think Nike needs to do something with it. Try to pull it up on your phone while we move along. But like, it's it's that they're they, like they 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 sat on the shelf. But like you know, as a sneakerhead, you always got like a pair that you like. Of course. Watch. I'm a, I'm gonna get them. And nobody, everybody's sleeping on them. I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get them. Those. You said what? Let me see. They did have an orange pair, the ones we talking about too. They had an orange pair, but the one I'm talking about, the first pair was like green, mint, black, and red. And I was just like, green, yo, mint, if they, if red. they, if, are you talking about the cutting, the cutting jades, the LeBron ten cutting jades? Are they the LeBron tens? Green, a uh, mint green cutting. I think those are the cutting jades. Yeah, let me see. That's the first pair of tens I ever bought. LeBron cutting jades. I think they might be what you're talking about. Nope. Nope, I think that was before those. Um, them 13. No, this before them, too. This earlier than those. So not so, these? Nope, nope, nope. Nope, now I really want to find it. Now, now, now. Hey, it's, it's crazy. crazy. I, I, now I want to bust don't out. know what the fuck you talking about. Niggas going to be killing nah, you in the nah, car. Nah, nah, <laughs> I don't, no. I got to bust. 
Those, those are the sevens. Those, those are the sevens, right? I like those too, the, the yeah, red yeah, carpets. Yeah. Those so are the, the sevens. sevens. So maybe they're the eights were the 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 the, the South Beaches. Yeah, yeah, so maybe they're the tens. These are the tens. So that's just what a ten. Okay, so like. okay, so maybe they're nines. The nines were hard. Um. We got to talk uh, uh, wrestling too, man. I just want to get your, uh, you know, your 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 temperament on what's going on with WWE and. Uh... This is the silhouette. Now I gotta find them. I got they're the eleventh. Oh yeah, those are the eleventh. Oh yeah, yeah, yep, yep. So yep. Listen, I got those. So I got the, those. So the thing is, it's not about the shoe. It's these could. I don't know what it is, but this combination right here is special. Something can be done with these. Whoever's watching this, and if you're a shoe designer, whatever, oh, yeah, send yeah, yeah, yeah. send us. Some mock-ups of this colorway. I have this colorway. Color color. He wants this one right now. I just think it's a special joint. Like, I don't know. They and just, it was slept on. They didn't nail it. I mean, they didn't really nail it, but it's just a beautiful colorway. And it's, this is a very, very... This could be something so The 11s. Crazy. How about three pairs of 11s is the last LeBron's I ever bought? 11 Kings Pride. That's yeah. what they are. Kings yep. Pride, yeah. I don't really that like might have been the first colorway they ever dropped. Yeah, it, it was. Yeah. I, don't, I just don't like the... I don't like... I don't love the silhouette, and that's probably why they would have did it. But this is like one of the best colorways Nike ever did on like a basketball shoe. Facts, facts, facts. Those are hard. Uh, no, but wrestling, man, like how you feeling about... I mean, obviously AEW's going on. Uh, WWE just had a bunch of change-ups. Extreme Rules was a fire show, I thought. Uh, how, what's your what's your thoughts on uh, on the temperament? What's going on with it? Uh, it's good. I mean, I think I think business is booming. Um, I think there's a lot of like a lot of what they call scuttlebutt going on uh, <laughs> backstage uh, on both brands. And yeah. you know, there's a lot of speculation on who's going where. So it's good for the the, the smart marks, as they call them. It's good for the if it's good for the culture. Like because the the backstage stuff is, is is like better than the stuff that you see for real. Nice. Just how people moving and you know who's going where and what's, what's your favorite storyline right now or favorite uh, guy I just, right I just now? Like, I like Bray. I just like what Bray doing. Yes. I, I just hope that it stays I'm glad like they didn't, that. They didn't fully drop I, the ball. I, I, I like Kobe, I like Kofi being the, the champion, but I I, I even tell Big E that I, I just wish they they booked him more as like a like a, a serious like, like more serious. serious. Cause he's athletic, that he could really he could shoot he could fight. For, he could shoot fight. He could, he could fight for real. Like he's trained right. fighter. You know what I'm saying? I just wish it was a little bit more of like a, you know, like they branded him they, more. They, they they letting him. They getting him over. They letting him win. And he's over with the fans. But it's like, I just wish that he showed more of like the other side of his like you know the what else he has to offer. Aggressive, just like a little bit more of aggressive like. You know, where it's not like a smiley baby face kind of thing. Yeah. What about? Uh, and, I know they know what they do. Uh, uh, as a basketball head, who you got early, early, early favorites for the for the title this year, man? Man, um, certainly not the Wizards. Man, <laughs> unfortunately, yeah. shout gonna, out to John Wall. We're gonna, we're gonna do better than everybody think, man. We're gonna do we're gonna do better than everybody think. First of all, y'all gotta get off that contract, that John out, Wall contract. Shout out my Washington Wizards and the Leonises, man. We're gonna be alright next year. Y'all gotta trade Bradley Beal and package him with the John Wall contract to somebody. Oh wow! Yeah, you man, just hit man. reset, bro. Man, I, like they will figure it out. You know, those, those, those <laughs> my guys. But if you gotta put money down, on, 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 I mean, obviously it's preseason. The season hasn't even started, but we. Kind of know what the rosters are looking like. Who, who's your favorite right now? Um, just say finals prediction. Probably. Um, I like. I like. I think that the sleeper person in all of this is Patrick Beverly, bro. Like, I like. I just think that he's the bees going because everybody talking about the two and two two for everything. Oh, you good? He's such a dog, and now you got. Well, I think two. if you have those three guys on your perimeter, you got, exactly. what, what are you going to fucking he's do? Dog, he's like a real dog. Like he's really for sure. And now you giving him some. Now you giving him some. Like he will happily guard yeah, LeBron James. That's what I'm saying. Like Don't guard anybody. Just I and mean, like, you know, championships ain't won on paper, man. Fact. You got to put in the work. So, and I know he that he's a dog. He underrated. Like he's underrated. I, I like that. I like that. I also want to see. Okay, I mean, I, obviously, Lou Williams. Like he, he gonna give you like twenty five a night. Lou, but, man. You know what I'm saying? Lou, a real one. So too. I, 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 I just like the Clippers because. They, they like people low key like even still now they like overlooking them you know what I'm saying like they just like oh yeah well we got uh, Lakers game Anthony Davis and Brown who are you know great players but like it's like Clippers always got to play second fiddle I feel like even they, when they was good like even when it was better than the Lakers they always still feel second fiddle like like they made the playoffs with no star you know what I'm saying and I, I mean and they I won just, two games against the I Warriors. just want to see I want to see I would love to see like you know Paul George and Lou Williams get a chip that would be good but I also want to see Giannis get one. And you know, I also want to see Harden get one. The like, Giannis kicks solid. The Giannis ones, they they they're, they, they're basketball. They're from they're playing basketball, basketball shoes. He ain't they're gonna wear those with no jeans. For sure. I'm gonna try to figure it out though, Giannis. I'm gonna go up with Don Baxter. All oh, yeah, I'm gonna try to figure it out. But uh, I mean, they 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 scream 
I play basketball. Leave me alone. I'm not. I don't go with jeans. It's like, right, that's that's facts. Uh, shout out to Meek. I, I, you know, he just announced his partnership with Jay Z for Dreamville with Rock Nation. Um, dream Chasers. Or Dream dream, dream Chasers. We were a whole nother. We that's just were talking about Joey that. Joey That's Joey Ae. <laughs> we, 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 we were just a whole nother camp. We were just talking about know. Dreamville, yeah. but with Dream Chasers. Um, and I, obviously, you guys are brothers, man. I know when he was locked up, you know, you'd post something real heartfelt that I thought was dope. Um, you know, I guess I feel like over the last two or three years, we've really seen a, a big, um, m m you know, Meek really mature into like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I feel like, you know, maybe like 2015, 2014, you would see Meek involved in some fuck shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, or he, he, I mean, we just, we both was just, just lunching. Like at the time, we just wasn't really like thinking like the, but like we was just, we was both lunching. Like all right, we both, we always talk about that. Like, man, we never going back to like how that it was like, it was just lunching back then. Like we, we, we. And it's it's maturity, but it's also like taking a step back and just seeing life for like what it is. Like you, my man. I mean, we friends. Like what are we? What the? What the? What, the what are we, we doing? doing? Like what's going on? Right. Now it's just you know, sun positive. I'm positive. Ross positive. We all just moving forward Wrong. and on it. Like you know what I'm saying? We on. We just on top of our thing. And you know, we seen a lot of people, you know, f you know, fizzle out, fade out because of like just bad decisions and just. Lunching out. It's almost like you like you learn from like shit in the past. Like you Absolutely. know what I'm saying? Well, Wale, we appreciate you pulling up. Uh album coming soon, hopefully. Single is yeah, out. You already know. When does this air? Uh this will air this will air to, to, to tomorrow. Okay. What's up tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> uh and then hopefully I mean, are you gonna be on Port of Miami too? Um I don't know. I don't think so, but I don't know. Uh we got a lot of records together, but it's just a we matter. We need another self-made album. We're still in the air. Ross, yeah. let's make that shit happen. We need to tour yeah. all that shit. Yeah, we do need it. We, we do need, need it, it, man. The people, man. Like, make sure y'all hit us up on Twitter, hit Ross up, and tell them you need it. But right now, it's all about Port of Miami 2. Make sure y'all get that. Uh, August 9th, you already know what it is. Meat dropping, sign cooking up, sounds, you know. Uh, Gene Chase is signing things right, left and right. You know, my name is Wale, and I endorse this message. And uh, stream and download my single 100 times. Thank hey, you. it's real 92.3. <laughs> Perfect.